Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how I did some weight loss, how I lost some weight now partly, now I frequently do exercise and back in the summer I did diet, you know, like some would consider a diet or for long term, but I did keto and it like it helped me with weight loss, but one thing like have a high cholesterol and for some reason my body didn't work to improve it like which got worse as I did it but like doctors you know like would consider me like they would want to take like have you on medication to improve cholesterol but mm, that's choice I have too you know like Because, like, it wasn't, like, the diet itself wasn't helping improve it, but, like, so, have to take medicine for it, too, but anyway, you know. It's, like, improvement in weight loss. <laughs> cholesterol taking medication you know like can be a side effect and it's risky you know the way I'm going but like other choices I have you know it's not getting any better instead it's just getting worse and worse the cholesterol level but anyway did improve in weight loss, you know, as much as I've experienced with keto, and I'm gonna, I've been off and on on it, you know, like, I'm not always, I'm not a fan of keto, so I'm not on it, like, a long period of time, you know, like, Longest I was on it was two months back in the summer and I was on it again this past week when I transition off of it and go back to regular food, you know, like with whatever I want. I last day when I'm going to transition off keto, I'm I do also do like intermittent fasting when I'm doing the diet and the last day when I'm before I get off of it back to whatever I want to eat it's I go a whole day without eating like fast a whole day with out eating anything sounds kind of crazy but it's best way how I think you know I to do it if you're not gonna do like stay on keto you know like and you're gonna tr be eating you know regular <laughs> fat diet like anything you want then that's I would last day I'm doing keto before I go back to eating whatever like I go a whole day without eating anything at all so that's how I manage it there and so I lost about 35 pounds since last six months 
last five, six months, I've lost about 35 pounds. So, yeah. Um, at an okay level, maybe not the best, but um, my I improved my weight before I started, like, back six months ago, I was, you know, my weight was high. <laughs> Couldn't imagine, you know, like, so I had to do something about it, which I wasn't, like, bad enough like some people are, you know, but I'm saying like I wasn't the best healthy, you know, and so decided to improve that to get myself to a better level where I don't have to worry about health risks like diabetes you know for a while and i'm 26 years old and hopefully i'm i'll manage to make it a long life everything i do you know to keep my health managed and yeah do what i can what I'm into, like, with, you know, my, and how to keep myself managing my health, you know, is to live for, at least, you know, live happy, <laughs> how I, however I can, you know, with the food that I like, that's, that's one thing too, I don't want to, I could eat, but like a regular normal diet like I am, you know, like, like I prefer to just do and, but not, I try not to overeat is the thing. You overeat, then you're gonna gain back a, some weight. At least, if you overeat, then that's, you're gonna gain it back. I'll gain back if I overeat too much, like crazy. I'm gonna gain back at least some weight there. So, so that's partly how I lost weight and I do exercise too. I go to the pool and try to get at least 10 laps in with whatever time I have of swimming. Try to get at least as many laps in and 10 at the most at least. Then, you know, 10 laps at least is good amount. It's what I've been doing lately, the pool, I just swim laps now, so it's way I get a workout, you know, like exercise. Like at least 10 laps is a good workout to keep my at least keep myself balance or my weight is balanced you know like instead of gaining or be lucky if I lose you know a bit more but it's you know just manageable keeping it balanced for me like when I'm on a regular diet that I prefer, which, you know, keto is good, but yeah, I, a lot of people say it's a 
good diet helps a lot with a lot of things, you know, that's good about it, it helps in my experience, I've lost weight with it, you know, and it's not bad. But since, you know, I'd rather... I'm um, a uh, way of living to eat whatever I like, you know, that's... I see that, that it's, you know, it's okay as long as I don't overeat, you know, like the bad, especially the bad stuff, you know, bad sugars and stuff, that's, you know, where you want to watch, watch it there, like, not overeat too many sugars. Too much of those is what can affect your health. So you want to, like, try to manage that as well, like, when eating, like, candy or sweets, try to least manage it, not eat too much of it when I do. Like, keep my health balanced, my weight, you know, keep it balanced and try not to go crazy, you know, like with, like, bad fats, you know, like, Especially sugar products. Try to keep it steady. Now, if you was a pro at exercising, you know, which I'd really have time for, I'd like do more exercise at the and and like I do more exercise like a professional athlete I would probably be able to lose a bit more weight that way if I was like doing athletic workout like twice more the workout than what I'm able to mostly do. I'm just saying, you know, like any of you that like ever like s think of like dieting the way I do, you know, like it's it's not like the greatest, but it's okay, you know, as long as you can manage your diet and keep it, your weight balance is, is what best and your health is what matters, importantly, where you're not, you know, in danger of life threats, you know, there, you know, that's, you don't want to get to that point, but so far lucky, do like what's best to keep you prevented from having health issues and risks of life. That's how I see it, like sweets. Like constantly that, you know, that's bad and that can affect your health there if you're crazy with sweets like excessively too much 
sweet, you know, like within a week or so. I can, you know. make you feel can make you feel down and you can have you know health risks if you keep keep it up like that like for a period of time, like eating too much sweets all the time for a period of time for that could put your health in jeopardy and having health conditions in life, which is best to try to avoid. So hopefully that's, that's a good way, you know, like that I see and hopefully you guys, any guys, you know, any of you like think ever think of like the way of dieting that I do you know like I'm good at like doing something to, like when my weight is high to improve it which I'm at least good at like dieting whatever I can even with keto you know keto is good and do that and with exercise and keto you know like helps too like a lot of things and with what I've experienced weight loss you know it helps you you know Or your to believe that the less you weigh, the less you have to worry about life for a period of time, as long as you're on a healthy level and keep that balanced. So it's what I wanted to sort of like talk about like a tip for some of you that maybe if some maybe see how ever think about like dieting like I do you know that's not a big fan of dieting but like when they they're in risks you know of like along the road within a matter of time they they can start having health issues then you know that's when they're like maybe close to the verge of it then you want to like do something about it it's like i would do keto and do exercise and like mostly like i exercise anyway you know like even when i'm not keto and which i'm mostly not you know like more than when I am and yeah I just do exercise there to keep myself balanced and try not to overeat a lot 
that's way I keep myself balanced, you know, like from from at least gaining any weight back, like maybe gain a pound or two to five pounds back, but like keeping yourself balanced, like exercising, like if you gain back weight, like it's best to keep your weight managed to not gain more than five pounds back, you know, and when you're eating like on a regular basis and exercising where you have to exercise more or go back to a special diet, you know, like And, and it's, you know, whatever's beneficial, like keto to you guys, you know, or exercise, you know, is cool. As long as you can manage it, and like I'm talking about, keeping the weight balance and not overeating is a whole lot is a good way to manage that health level when you're at a good health level so that's how I deal with it like like that, you know, like managing the health level at a okay balance at least. Not, yeah, and my health level right now is like, isn't the best but it's an improvement you know it's like good but not the best my health level right now like my weight it's at a good weight but not the best exactly but it's like maybe the best I could do but it's at a good level yeah, so, so then, that, talk about there to you guys, about case, you know, <laughs> curious about wondering, what it's all like, you know, like, however, you know, like, suits you necessarily in dieting and all to keep a good health, you know, level. Yeah, and even good to live a long life what matters yeah live a long life that's good mostly live a long life that's the thing there so Just to let you know how, how I'm keeping myself at a 
good balance level fairly. It's what I'm actually about today, and so. You guys like my videos? Please leave a like and and a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to Autistic Ninja. Okay? Thank you and goodbye.